All right, Brigand enthusiasts, welcome back to Mana Celestia Theocracy Knights. I am your host, Veracity Trigger. Cue the intro. And as usual. Stay triggered. Pew pew. Hope you enjoy. Pew. If you do, please leave a like or definitely subscribe for more. That would be perfect. All right, so what we're going to do today was we're going to talk about Frederick Ho. He is a knight with Mana Celestia Theocracy. He is our guy for today. We're going to try to cover him a little bit. I'm just starting up. This is basically a new game. This is how you're going to see him as you load the game. I don't think there will be any difference with what you see here from when you load the game and just are about to start playing as Mana Celestia Theocracy. So, he is a mage, you know, from this country here. Pretty reliable. Let's talk about his character. He is a male 47 class sorcerer. This blue-blooded owner of a vast stretch of land in Mana Celestia decided to join the war to protect his subjects from it. He is a secret believer of the Moana and interacts with people from the sect. Because of this, he will he will be pressed into making a major decision in this war. It's a little key thing to, to look at when you are going to play this game. You're going to find out later on what happens with this guy. Though well-read and expert tactician, he has unfortunately developed chronic stomach issues because of his sensitive nature, which perpetually troubles him. Okay, so what is he essentially? He's, he's basically essentially a mage. He comes as a decent mage. I'd have to say he's one of the more reliable characters that I use when I'm playing Mana Celestia Theocracy. I feel comfortable, probably because I just feel comfortable playing with mages and just having a backline with, you know, some blast damage and stuff. So if you want to, like, spread out the damage and all that, you can put him on a, almost any team. He'll round it out pretty well. Uh, he is just kind of okay when it comes to some stats. 3, D, and then C... Um, that's, you know, kind of that sort of thing there. Um, you know, it's just, it's okay. It's all right. But as you can see here, like if we look at his, uh, MP, you know, we've got, uh, 375 MP, which is pretty fantastic. I'd have to say that's actually pretty good. So I think when you're using this guy, you're gonna, you're gonna feel pretty confident using him. Now he only has 400 HP, so he can go down pretty quick if you're not defending him well enough. But if you want a good, decent mage, he's not one of the absolute best. You're going to find out later on something's going to happen. I don't want to spoil it for you if you don't know, but um, I would rely upon him early game, but um, later mid to late game, don't Re really focus on relying on him. So I guess don't try to give him the best stats you can give him. You can try. Once you find out what happens, you can try and see as a challenge to see if this will work out for you. But I'm just saying he's a decent mage. He's all right. You're going to enjoy using him initially. And then later on, uh, you know, maybe find a new mage to take over for his position in certain cases. All right, that's all I want to say. I don't want to spell anything. But um, what does he have here? We've got weakness there. So we've got this weakness spell. Uh, magic down, which is actually quite interesting. This does a... Uh, uh, reduces magic power and resistance of a single enemy unit for within a four hex radius for three turns. So this is actually quite useful. You can do magic down on an enemy and then blast him with like a flame spell. And then get him really good that way. Or do a geno flame and he'll be even more weak and then hit a whole bunch of more guys with this. So you've got a lot of MP to utilize right off the bat. 375, quite a good amount, you know. Um, for characters at level 15, I'm not so sure he's going to be comparable to other characters in that sense to basically say, oh, he's just, you know, really good and, you know, he can do just as much as everybody else can. Uh, Mana Celestia Theocracy characters aren't going to be as highly looked upon as some other characters from some other countries so just letting you know you know there can be some other characters that might replace him but um you get the venom spell which has a one to three range radius pretty good flame spell geno flame uh these yeah they're a little costly but you know it'll it'll go a long way a great tool that you can use for him if you feel like he doesn't have enough mp for your style of play just use the power spell on some breath attacks for some dragons to just go and just do that and you know there you go you get the excel spell too 
So really nothing too fancy, just the general mage class, kind of like a Janfarter. I would say he's probably comparable to Janfarter from the previous game, or uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, honestly, I just feel like Janfadar or Kirkmund or uh, any of those kinds of mages that are just kind of like, I just need a mage to do some damage, blast him with magic. This is the guy that you're going to use. Uh, you'll be able to use him for most of the first part of the game. So if you want to get the most use out of him, I would say field him with Rudo, even though I don't think him and Rudo would be the best together, except for the fact that you could use him with power spells with Rudo and then just do a lot of stuff that way. I mean, it could work in that sense. But, you know, later on try to pick some other character if you can. Uh, just get a basically simple middle hit skill, nothing too fancy, just goes for a simple bonk attack, which isn't all that powerful, but yeah, pretty much just the mage class. Nothing too special about the character here. Uh, agility 65, so it's okay for some dodging and stuff, so he's alright. Uh, defense isn't going to be all that great, as you can see, it's just, you know, 80. Mobility of 4, so really, you're working with 200 rune power, which I'd have to say, it's not bad. It's not bad to start, so I'd say the rune power to start and go... You know, it's all right. So if you want to have a powerful Rudo to go out and do a power spell and have a lot of MP for doing Rudo attacks, obviously this is going to be your go-to guy. There are other mages out there, and I know that, but for the way the game plays out, early game, I think he would be probably one of the best matches for Rudo if you're going to go for a very heavy, aggressive Rudo offensive style. If you're just going to go Rudo and one other knight, this could work because then you pop a power spell on Rudo every single time he's about to attack and swing and boom, cut in half, uh, dead in the water. So I think that's a good call there. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you use this guy. I'd love to know that because um, I haven't really, honestly, I know the strategy for doing it. I haven't done it myself because I really keep more healers with Rudo, but I think in the future I'm gonna try this because I think this is gonna be uh, pretty good way to just annihilate some castles especially if you're going to do something like the challenge mode you could go with Frederico and with Rudo and see how that works and that might work out pretty well for you all right I'm going to end the video here there's not too much else to go over and explain about Frederico but I hope you enjoyed if you did definitely subscribe do something help the channel I will see you in the next Brigandine guide video or other videos that I have take care